Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up in the United States at FrenchieStamps.com. Well, I shared this card and many people asked me how it was done and I tried to explain it and so I decided to do what? Well, I got a tough time doing the same thing twice. I mean, I just get bored. So we're going to crank it up a notch and I discover this is wicked cool. So let's get started. So this is on champagne foil. It seemed that I forgot about the champagne foil and it's a cross between, I'm going to say, silver and gold in between that because you get a little bit or copper. You get a, a bit of everything in it. It's beautiful. And so this one here, I should have said, it was done with the stitch rectangle framelits, okay? And I will have the measurement on this and the one that we're doing right below in the description or above in the eye. This, today, we are doing it with the heirloom um, die and the matching framelits. So when you, so you're going to cut with your die first, kablooey, try to match that in the center, and it is five and a half by four and a quarter. So you're going to cut it out first, then you're going to take your center piece, well, the outline here, not the center, because the center we're going to stamp, and the foil going to face up with stamping up, and just align that, and you get a border all around, so pay attention to that and then pass that in your embossing machine. Okay, so we got this done. Now we're going to do the stamping first because we are using stays on so it's going to dry. Many people ask me what's the best ink to stamp on foil. Um, stays on going to dry. You can use any uh, ink and emboss it with clear if you wish. So I'm going to stamp that there and be careful it tends to slide. Or it's sticky also, so I'm going to put my finger there and pull. Et voila. Okay. So we're going to leave that there while it dry. And then what I discovered that I think it's wicked cool. It's when I put my snow on this with the glitter. It's going to harden the foil paper. If you see, it's very different touch. I mean, it's hard. And also see how it curls. It's really like, it should like the heavy of the snow on the branch. I think it's way, way cool. So I'm using the Accent Puff Paint. And I just did like the tip of the branch. And you just need a tiny little bit. You don't need much of this. And be very careful because this is very runny puff paint. So you don't want it to squeeze too hard. You barely touch the bottle and then come out. Now I'm using the ice glitter, and if you look at my jar, you can see that I use this a lot. I absolutely love, it's not a fine, fine glitter, but it's really a icicle glitter that I absolutely love. Now watch this as we emboss that, the glitter going to stay stuck to the puff paint, and then it's going to curve our branch. Be careful not to burn your fingers. I could use a tweezer, but that takes the fun away. See, it just keep on curving that branch. And not only that it curves, it really hardens that cardstock. Just make sure that all the puff stain, the liquid, it's puffed so it's dry. If not, when you touch it, it's going to flatten and it's going to ooze that juicy. Here we go. So that is done, my friend. Very, very simple. See how curvy it is? I just love it. And, oh, in the back, it's kind of a paper in the back of this. It's going to peel it up. That's normal with the, when you emboss something, it's uh, take the paper out, like when it's glue. I just noticed that. That is normal. So don't worry about that. If it come off, just peel it off. Now, if you're wondering, what did I use? I use every branch. So I use the large, the medium, and the small. For the pine cone, I use the outline, the small, and the detail small. And the greeting also, it's from this. So we're using the bundle. Now, 
let's use oh i didn't bring a card base i think do i no let me grab a card base here oops i dropped this i got some pre-cut here well i think i do yep yep so the card base is going to be eight and a half by uh, five and a half score at four and a quarter uh, it would be better if you use every whisper cardstock okay now we're going to start building and the best tip that I can give you for building oops it's put the outline first because then we know how to build the rest so we're going to put glue and again this is five and a half by four and a quarter so it's going to oops it's going to cover the entire uh, surface of your car now we're going to put that here and the easiest thing is push it down so then you know oops see I slid it there that's what it's nice about uh, liquid glue you can reposition it, it if you have to okay voila now the next step really it would be the frame but first because this is going to be raised up I want to make sure that I'm on the right side it could be a little different there and I think it was now we're going to glue our center before we put the frame itself that's going to make it easier before we raise it all up so I'm putting a, a liquid glue in the back of this and again it's going to be super easy to match see perfect match so it's no guessing game so that's why you want to start out coming in usually we start the center but in this case it's different now for the frame I'm using the foam strip just take the foam strip and put your put some all around I like to put some all around so then it don't cave in and the foam strip are a little bit more thick than dimensional so you could use dimensional just know that your frame wants to be as um, lift in mine you can use both it's just that I think foam strip it's much easier when we do frame because it's strip and boom boom it's done now a little tip about the the foam strip when you want to remove the backing if you take your finger and just roll it and it come right off see come right off that make it very slick to uh now i don't know which way it was which right so let's try to match this here mm. oh come on baby here we go now we got our frame see how simple it was now what I done I started with my big branch here see and you see it's going in the top of this so what I done we're going to use our scissors here I'm going to click that right there oh those two are stuck together here let's here we go now I can put that right here and it don't go on top of my wording the best way that um, uh oh I need glue dots I won't have enough glue dots here I think I get zippo the best way it's to use the glue dots so I'm gonna put one there oh, I get one on my finger Okay, let's move that right here okay one second let me grab glue dots okay I got more glue dots now we're going to take the medium frame and we're going to put that right here again I just use glue dots in the back and you don't want it to pass you don't want it to your wards to be cover here we go now I'm going to look where I can add another glue dot to help secure that let's 
so I got it right in the back here. So pretty much my glue dots are getting folded in two. If it gets sticky, what you can use, it's, if your glue dot show, you can tap on it with your embossing buddy and that's going to stop the stickiness. Now I'm going to take the branch that we cut here, I'm going to put that right there. And that I'm not too worried because we're going to put the pine cone at the top there. So I'm going to put the branch right there, make sure I don't cover my warts. And then I got the, the, the other one there. I had put under, but with the snow, it's kind of... Okay, I'm going to put it there. So I use all three branch, like the other one, just position at different places. Put it that way. Here we go. For the pine cone, this, the outline there, not the detailed one, the outline, I cut that with the um, glimmer uh, dazzling uh, paper and then this again it's with the foil. What I done, this was the easiest way for me to glue this. Use two glue dots, two or three, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Two would be enough I think. Oh, I got another glue dot on my finger, put it there. Then you're going to put that at the top of your pine cone. Now it's still sticky. What I done, I used my uh, dazzling um, detail uh, glitter and tapped it in and it stopped all the stickiness. Voila. So I done the other one. Let me bring that here. So then we're going to use a few glue dots to secure that in place. I'm going to put one right here. And then the other one. So that is it, my friend, how to do the frame. Very, very simple. Like I said, you can crank it up a notch by adding the um, puff paint and then the, the ice. Okay, I'm finding a problem right now, this here. That's going to be a problem to mail it. So what you can do, you can snip it or you can take this and move it and put a glue dot there. So what I'm going to do, it's because it cannot pass this if you want to put it in the regular envelope. I didn't pay attention to that. I was just paying attention to my wording there. So I'm going to twist this here, put that there. I'm going to take this branch, put another glue dot there. So sometimes you have to do a little bit of fixing by hand to make it fit in the envelope. And this is what I'm doing right now. Here we go. So now just a tiny air there that's going to fit but if voila my friend is that cool or what so here it is the one that i call crank it up a notch and here is the other one both are very very rich in with that uh, champagne uh, paper so all the supply will be on my blog right below you get the direct link are above and all in the United States are welcome to come shopping 24 7 I would appreciate your business thank you and have a lovely day bye bye for now